<laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but yeah, I gotta get into this video, and it really piggybacks off what I was talking about yesterday. Remember yesterday I was saying you cannot win with women. Not only did I say you cannot win with women, I said if a woman makes an accusation about you, you need to do some things to make sure you don't fucking go to jail. Number one, you need to record. You got to record yourself calmly. Again, you may say, you know what I mean? You, you know some of these little social justice warriors would be like, oh, well, cussing out the cops is not a crime and blah, blah. Listen, when you're a male and you're dealing with a female, everything is a crime. You don't raise your voice. You got to be calm. She could kick. She could scream. She could do whatever. You be calm. You reiterate to her, please do this. You can't get aggressive. That's the only way you win unless you want to go to jail. Because at any moment, they could be like, he hit me. He raped me. But check this out. This is an Uber job. And by the way, uh, I have an Uber story also because I took an Uber from the airport. My second time because I took an Uber to the airport when I was going to Las Vegas. But it's the second time taking an Uber. The Uber driver said some very interesting things. And I'm going to explain it after we watch this debacle. And I want to I wanna hear y'all weigh in on it. Because it's definitely borderline racist and prejudicial. But it might make sense. But let's get into this first. Uh, this is a Uber driver. Um, okay, this is an Uber driver. And by the way, this might be Six Foot Viper. I think this is personally Six Foot Viper. It gotta be. It gotta be. This is Six Foot Viper. To me, this is Six Foot Viper. He sounds kind of like him. And he's from New York. Anyway, let me put this on the screen. Anyway, the Uber driver, right? He's dropping this chick off. Apparently, she's getting belligerent. She wants to charge her fucking iPhone. He says, sorry, I don't have an iPhone charger. Bitch is going wild on him, like blacking out in the fucking backseat. Now, again, I can't really tell what car this is, but y'all got to let me know. Like, this kind of look like it's a nice car. She's almost like violating him, and I'm not going to lie, his patience, his fucking patience, even surpasses Jay-Z. Remember when Solange was like, ah, 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 like wilding out on Jay-Z, and Jay-Z was oh, just, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> duck but what that right nigga r, r one l like you was really just ducking and i'm like not once did he ever grab her and choke slam her not once now you shouldn't be doing that let me just get that clear however not once did he you know a lot of people say i never hit a chick but i like hug her tightly to restrain her he didn't even like hug her all he did was like coward <laughs> right but this guy right here this guy and by the way I don't want to go on a segue, but this is the reason why. You see, I'm not the person who just. my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking. Thank you for the sub. Who's that? Oh, drill, y'all. Bistro cuisine. Thank you for the sub. Okay. But I'm not one person who just hate Trump for everything. I try to think independent of everything he does. Like I'm like, okay, I saw him give some money to some HBCUs. I'm like, hmm, it might might have an agenda. Just trying to grease niggas' pockets to get in with the black community. But I'm like, that's positive, though, right? A lot of times, niggas give to charities or whoever with an agenda. He gave some money to some HBCUs. I said, that's good, even though he has an agenda. Now, when he be on that get these immigrants out of here shit, even though technically he didn't really say that for everybody, but I believe immigrants are some of the hardest working people ever. My mom was an immigrant. I was an immigrant. I, I became a citizen after my mom got citizenship here. When I first came over here, I was not a citizen. I got I got gained citizenship very quickly because she was married, and because of her marriage, I became a naturalized citizen. Okay, I was I was under a certain age, and if your mom gained citizenship, or used to be, if your mom gained citizenship, her kids who are if if they're here with her legally, if it. If they're within a certain age, all she got to do is just add them on and, and they become citizens as well. It was harder for my brother who was older. I think he was my oldest brother. He was around like he was over 18. So he had to go through the process himself. It was hell. Like, you know, what I mean, like imagine a Jamaican dude with a heavy accent. Like, I don't know if y'all know the citizenship process. You got to go down to wherever the fucking citizenship place is and you got to be reading out. <laughs> you got to recite the motherfucking um uh, like, 
don't know. Like, you, you got to sing the fucking Star Spangled Banner, Pledge of Allegiance, and all that shit. Like, you, they ask you all type of question. Which president did this? Like, shit, you won't even know. But you got to learn that shit. They, they give you a quiz. <laughs> you got a heavy ass Jamaican accent, right? <laughs> so you can imagine, be like, what? Bumble clap, yeah, my God. So whatever. Anyway, I digress. I digress. I'm sorry. I, I tend to kind of go off track. However, I really say that to say I have the utmost respect for immigrants because they work so fucking hard. And a lot of times, the people who give niggas a bad rep, it's not immigrants. It's the ratchet black people, black Americans. And I'm sorry to say it, but you will see this is an immigrant, this is a black American. One feels way entitled, the other is just trying to work hard. Let me play the video. As soon as I get off, you not doing nothing for the fucking cop. Fuck out of here, I'm gonna tell you brains are hit me. Fuck say out of here. Okay, say Watch. whatever you, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. All right, my let me, let me get out here. You get on my car. No, I'm telling you. Call the cops. 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 I'm not taking you nowhere. You exit here. Call the cops. I'm not getting out. You better call the cops. You better call the cops. You better call the fucking cops. You call the cops because no, you're making a big scene. You get off my I'm car. You want to keep disrespecting me? You get off. You wanna keep on disrespecting me? I'm you get up. Yo, why I'm my boy you? I don't I'm care about your boyfriend. Okay. I don't care about your boyfriend. Okay. I don't okay? Give a fuck. So if you disrespect me, you I get up. Call the cops. All right, don't disrespect call me. Call the cops. Do not call disrespect me. Call the fucking me. cops. Tell C, I know my Tell fucking law. I don't fuck care about that. So call the cops. First of all, and I hate to pause it, just by her fucking loud mouth, you could tell she's from New York. New York bitches just don't sound attractive. Call the cops! Call the cops! Like, I, I don't fuck a bitch like that. She don't even moan like that. Like, 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 New York bitches, bruh. New York motherfucking bitches. These ratchet hoes from New York, bruh. There's nothing, like, and, and I deal with these bitches. There's nothing that it is sexy about a New York ratchet hoes accent. Call the cops! Call the cops! Like, what the fuck? He's been very, he's been very nice. Like, he's explained it to her. Then you know what these hoes always say? I call my boyfriend! Fuck. These are the same hoes. Feminist. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, whatever. Come on, my head. New York bitches. Let's continue. Nigga. You do it. Call you the, the one that's mad. This is the train station. Thank you. Get out. I'm not getting out. Call the cops. I'm not getting out. So you are you going to shut up and I'll take you to your destination? Watch your mouth. I'll be something. I'll spit in your face. I'm from the... You better say my do shit. It. I'm on do the it. daily news, right. nigga. Get out. Call Get out my car. Get out my car. See? See, niggas so nice. That's what New York bitches be saying. Have a speed in your face! This conversation's over, like... <laughs> that's when you know a chick is... And again, y'all remember that incident... Again, I'm not... I'll never co-sign no type of domestic violence. But you remember that, that, that one video where that dude was on the train? And that chick was going off at the mouth like all his face? The nigga had an eight ball jacket. Some of y'all will go remember that video. I can't put it up here because, you know, this is Twitch. On this motherfucker, ah, do something, nigga, do something, nigga. She got on fucking Tim's. Ah, ah, ah. Nigga said, one fucking slap. You know, she hit him a couple times, too. She hit him a couple times. Poop, like she called a pussy. He gave her one fucking slap. The slap that was heard around the entire universe. Bruh, all that aggression to <laughs> But that's how these chicks are. They want to spit at you. They spit in your face. But this nigga's taking it. We're only a minute in. We got eight more minutes to go. Look at his temperament. Y'all tell me if y'all could do this. Because I don't know if I can. Uh, I'm not moving. I don't give a fuck. All right, so we're going to sit here. I don't give a fuck. We're going to sit here. I'm not moving. You're still getting nigga, charged. Name, come up, I don't give a fuck. I'm All right. Go Stop playing with Take your fuck turn here. No, I'm not. Oh, you yeah. talking yeah. the fuck out. You talking so to me. Disrespect me. Yo, you gonna, disrespect me. Yo, you going to. Yo, I will put myself in the face and call the cop you did it. You going to jail. All right, thank you. You want to play? I don't care. You want to play yourself? You want to get up? You want to play yourself? I'll call the cop right now. You want to get up? 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 Do you want to get up? I'm telling you, holding me against my your plate. All right. I just said myself. I'm not taking you. I'm not. You're for domestic violence. You're going to be Yeah, whatever. Get up. I heard that? I'm gonna tell the cops you hit me. I'm gonna tell the cop I just hit myself. Did I tell you about that? A chick will hit herself and, and blame it on you. When you're not doing what they want, they anything is on the motherfucking table. 
You can't trust these chicks. You know what probably saved this man from going to jail? This video. By the way, he didn't go to jail. She said, I'm going to call the cops and say you're holding me against my will. You see, here's the thing. A dude can't joke like that with a chick. She could say that to him. All she wants, zero outrage. Zero outrage. That's why I don't like amongst many of these groups. They don't police themselves. I believe people should police themselves. I believe Black Lives Matter should be the first people condemning crimes in Chicago. Just like y'all gonna be on the front scene when there's a white cop who kills a nigga. We gotta, we gotta police ourselves because if we can't police ourselves, who gonna police us? These feminists, y'all should be the one who's saying, whoa, no, we are here trying to re defend people who are really abused, really raped, really kidnapped. If you gonna be faking this shit, it hurts the motherfucking mission. We gotta get you out the paint. Fuck out of here. We gotta chastise you. Get out of here, ho. No, 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 no. You will not, not on our watch, accuse a male of false shit because when you are really in that situation, we coming for that nigga neck. If they said that, I'd be like, all right, do your thing. Do your thing. But you know what? Not a peep. Nobody hears it. Nobody fucking hears this shit. Let's keep going. Oh, my car. I'm not getting out your car. I'll call the cops. Are you going to... I'm going to start kicking All right, this you shit. You better call the cops. You be quiet. I'll start kicking this shit. You better call the cops. I'll start bugging out. You better call the cops. What's wrong move. with you? Because you bugging out. You playing with me. You playing with your body. I'll you Because you're disrespecting me. Y'all violate you, nigga. disrespecting me. I'll fucking violate you, stupid. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Fuck out of here. This is the train station. You want to take Yo, the train? Yo, you better... I'll start violating this car. Do you want to take the train? Whatever. You gonna either take me or you gonna call my man and tell him that you're I'll not taking me. I'll take you there if you call speak. Call my man! Speak call my man and tell him you're not taking me. You're not breaking my car. Call him! My phone died. You're not taking me to him. That's not my phone. Man, these hoes out of pocket, bro. These hoes out of pocket. That's why I couldn't do Uber. I love my car so much. My car is like my girlfriend. I call my, gr I, I call my car a girl name. Like, that's my bitch. That's my chick. My car has held me down more than any person in the world. Got, got somebody in the back seat threatening to do what to my car? First of all, I always said, ain't no ex girl I don't care what I did. Ain't no ex-girlfriend fucking on my car. You must be out of your fucking mind. I got somebody in the back seat? Told them out what they gonna do to my shit? That's my... That's like my... That's like... What? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This is probably where... And again, it's about temperament. I give him a lot of props. This is probably where, like, my eyes are just... to get the seatbelt off and I'm diving in the back. What? <laughs> Fuck you talking to me? Yo, you look at the interior. The interior you got like this light colored shit. She probably got like some little fucking grape juice or Kool-Aid. She probably ruin your... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, hell no, man. This is two minutes in, people. I would have probably been in the back with her. What? You gonna throw what? Where? But again, salute to this man. Salute to him. The temperament. Oh my God. Whoa. Yo, yo, stop bugging out. Oh, stop bugging out. Throw this shit over the car. Do you so want me to take you to your address? Call my car. man. You have his number because it's his credit card. And tell him. Tell him. I was taking you to your destination since you, un, 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 until you start talking shit. I was taking you to your destination. Why are you recording me? I'll, why I'll you record you. Me? I'll record you. I will record you. You just hit me. Cause you attack me. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, face. whatever. You just hit me. I'm gonna call the cops and call get you cop. locked up. I didn't hit you. I didn't. Bro, I never say this, but I'm sleep, cuz. Come on, man. What the fuck? <laughs> she said you just hit me in my face. <laughs> oh hell, nah, bro. Bro, I'm giving this man a lot of props for the patience, the temperament. How does he do it? Hey, I don't like. You see, some some of y'all might be like, "Yo, he's a bitch ass nigga." No, no, no. And and, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have a final thought about it. it's a theory, but this guy's really restrained. Like, yo, look how she's wilding out in your car, your property. She don't own that shit. Here, 
Call the cops. Alright, so don't hit call my car. Cops. Don't hit my car. Call the cops. Do not let me out. Call the cops. We'll take me to my man. Which one? Alright, I'll take you to this nation if you be quiet. I got Do not disrespect me. I promise you guys something for you when you get there though. Okay, so I'm not even going no more. So see why you couldn't. I just swear take to God I'm not I'm not taking she said, you gonna be a pack. This is gonna be the last job ever, nigga. I got some. <laughs> I promise I got some for your ass when you get there. What the fuck? Okay, so call the cops. You call the cops. I I'm not moving. Take me. I am not moving. I am not moving. Okay, so call the cops. I'm not moving. Okay, I don't care. So call my boyfriend tell him send me another Uber. No, nope. you, you, you call him. You call him. You don't have a charger. All right, I'm not taking you. I'm okay, not taking so you. Get out of my car. So you call, call him. him. Tell me, send me. All right, you want to play? I don't, so I'm not care. Out. I don't I'm care. Not out. I don't, I don't care. care. Call the cops. All right, we're going to sit you here. You got two minutes of footage. I'm going to tell him what you hit You hit me in my face. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hit him in my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my boyfriend knows he was arguing. Whatever. I'm not taking you. Okay, thank you. My boyfriend's going to think you hit me. You really playing with me. Oh, you have to I don't, don't care. To you can make up any lies you want. I'm not taking so you. No way. I'm not. So you wanna call the cops, you call the cops. You have an issue. I'm, I, don't I don't have an issue. You know I don't have a phone. I have it on I have it on the thing that I told my boyfriend. Whatever, I man, whatever, know. man. I'm not taking you. Okay, so I'm gonna sit right here. You threatening me, you hit no, me. No, I did not hit I'm you. I'm not taking you. I'm not taking you. So I'm, I'm sitting not. right here then. You gonna call the cops. We're gonna sit right here. Yeah, we're gonna sit here. You you got a problem, you call the cops. I'm, I'm not taking you. I'm gonna start screaming out the window that you raping me, that you raping me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what, this is what people do. You dirtbag. Thank you, I'm married, I don't do that. How the fuck does he laugh that off? How does he laugh that off? This guy is great, this guy is, must be trained. He must be, this nigga, this nigga is must, this nigga must be straight from Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> this nigga look like he's dealt with some bitches before. I, I didn't know his age. Because in my mid-20s, I can't deal with that shit. Mm -mm. When I was 19, I couldn't deal with it. When I was 15, well, I wasn't getting bitches at 15. Was I? Nah, not really. But right now, I couldn't deal with like, it. I don't think I have that patience. I don't know if I do. That shit. All right, good for you. He I'm married. married. I'm a loyal I'm husband. Too. I don't do that. Yeah, right. I'm not taking you. Okay, I'm good. Actually, you better call the cops. You call the cops. No. I'm not moving. I told you. All I'm right, not so moving. I'm not moving either, nigga. Okay. Thank you. Think you're a thug? No. I was on the fucking Because you, you, see me, you see me driving. You see me driving. You think I'm nobody. So no, you, can, you think you can disrespect me. I was on the daily news and I'm not. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm, a li I'm like that. I don't care if you're on the daily news. I don't give a fuck. You're like that with your boyfriend, not with me. You don't know me. You do not know me. You don't know me and you talk crazy to me. All right, so don't talk shit to me. Oh, don't wow. disrespect you me. You're me. I don't know okay. y'all fuck about you. Fuck out of here. Yeah, whatever. Go back to your country. Thank you. Donald Trump will send you and your family back. Thank you. Thank you. Niggas, why y'all be doing that shit? I be seeing black Americans say that shit. Go back to your country. Bitch, you black, he black. White people think all of us should go back. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, not because you're a black American and somebody's an immigrant, um, whatever. Like, it could be a, a, um, a black, well, now a black American, but they're from, like, uh, Africa, the continent, or, like, say, Liberia, Nigeria. It could be from Jamaica. It could be from, like, Trinidad doesn't mean you are entitled more or you are more uh, motherfucking immune to everything co that comes with being black. Go back to your country? The fuck are you talking about? That's what, that's what you know some of these hoes, they watching and they listen to too many white people. Nigga, when my name come up. What are you talking about? Go back Yo, to your country. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it. Thank no you. more. I appreciate that. Okay. Get out of my car now. I'm not getting out your car. Okay, so we're gonna so see you here. Call my boyfriend, tell him send another Uber. We're gonna see here. Okay. Why should I call him? You think he's, he's stupid? Call my boyfriend. He, your, yeah, my boyfriend will fuck you up. You shouldn't be talking shit. You shouldn't you should be, talking talking shit. Talking you should be disrespecting me. It's cool, it's cool. You disrespect me, it's I'm cool. not taking you. Phone, and you're threatening me, you're telling me if I get there, it's there is cool. something waiting for me. So I'm not going. But listen, you don't I don't care how much you make, I don't care how much you make. You said he's trying to threaten you, nigga. You don't need to threaten you. But you're trying to leave me stranded. Knowing he paid already, and I'm trying to, and I have a phone to call him. I'm not taking you. Okay, so call him and tell him. I'm not calling nobody. So you're going to stay right here and you're going to start screaming until somebody calls a cop. Sure. You could go over there and ask somebody to call a cop. I'm not, I'm not moving. Okay, so you're gonna be sitting here. You shouldn't be talking. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be, yeah, I don't mind. I work for myself. Okay. 
this guy is great. I want to find this guy. Is this Viper? You missing? You you missing it out? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Is this Viper? Like dead ass. I kind of want to find him and, and, and like like give him a little give him a little stimulus package. Like yo, you held it down for the real niggas because these hoes actually be lying. I want to give you some. I want I want to show you because you know what. These feminist bitches be, be, be pushing this agenda that guys like this don't exist and bitches like that in the back don't exist. Like, all the guys they know is always the, the abuser or the, the fucking scum and the chicks are always the innocent, like, dancing in distress. I want to find this guy. I literally want to find him. If anybody, if y'all be riding Ubers, if y'all find this nigga, I want to find this guy. I, I kind of want to find him. Really? Because his patience, I felt it did a lot for people to see what sometimes men go through. Because people don't give a fuck. Who cares if she accuses you of you taking a pussy and you never even, like, you never even, like, been alone with her? Who cares? <laughs> it's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. And I'm getting out your car and I'm going to violate it. You can show it to the cops. If you, if you, if you, if you, do, do whatever okay, you got to do. Hi. Do whatever you gotta Hi. do. I got Good you. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. I'll kick your phone in your face. Yeah. Get out. Get out my car. Out. Get out my car. Can you call the cops, please? Alright, hold on, hold on. Let me. Where is this shit that's fucking up? It's always happening. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I don't know why it keeps happening. We're good now. He won't, uh, my phone is dead. He won't call the cops. Please call the cops. Yeah, go ahead. Bitch, <laughs> acting, dog. <laughs> Can you call the cops? Police, yeah. Call police, yeah. Police, yeah. Police, yeah. Bruh, this bitch just acted. She was about to do a fucking drama scene. <laughs> call the cops. Call the cops. Bitch, that learned Spanish. Bitch, you got the Rosetta Stone tucked away for some shit like this. Police, yeah. Police. These hoes out of pocket. I'm sorry to say, they're out of pocket. Somebody got to check her. She's out of pocket. There's a lot of bitches like this. They're out of pocket. My name, come up, respect. If nobody gonna say nothing, I'm playing with I am. Name. I'll drill y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it no more. This bitch switched up her whole lingo. She went from talking about, hey, yo, son. Yo, I got something waiting for you. Hey, yo, I'm from. That's how she was talking. Now she's like, policia, policia. <laughs> really? Really? Then these are the same black chicks. I ain't gonna say black chicks because there's great black women. But I'm gonna say these are the same black bitches. Because these are ratchet black chicks. As soon as you get a white chick, they be looking at you wild. And, and you be looking at them like, bitch, it's because I've been dealing with your fucking crazy ass. Pray to God you never meet a chick like this. Pray to God you'll never meet a chick like this. These are the Worst of the worst. Bottom of the bottom. Trust me. Go ahead. I don't care. I don't, I don't care what you're saying. The door is on. Is you hit me in my right. face. I want the cops. Yeah. You yeah, only been recorded yeah, for yeah, six yeah. minutes. Look how long I've been in your car for. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm stupid. I've been, I've been working with Uber for over two years. I've never had a problem. Me either. Yeah, so get out. No, you never take an Uber. You said that's your first time. No, I said I'm gonna take Lyft. I said Uber. So go back with Lyft. My first time Uber don't have a charger. I said. If I don't have a charger, I polite. You ask me, I politely tell you, I'm sorry, I don't have a charger. No, you and you start like disrespecting me. You have to play. You say, oh, I don't have one. Okay, cool. All right. Get I don't out. have one. That's what the motherfucker said. He didn't have one. You can. You have a phone. You my can go phone anywhere. My phone is dead. You didn't want to charge it for me. How am I? How am I gonna charge your phone if I don't have a charger? How? How? I don't have to have a charger. Okay. I don't have an iPhone. I don't have to have a charger. Okay. Somebody find this man. I want to get my iPhone. Somebody find this man. I I'm, I need to find this guy. We got to get him hooked up with some shit. This, this nigga's patient as hell. Nigga said, you've got an iPhone, bitch. Like, I'm going to have an iPhone charger. I don't have an iPhone. What are you talking about? The chick is mad because she couldn't charge her fucking phone to get on Snapchat in the back seat. <laughs> Acting like she's lit. Oh, I want to get on Snapchat. Charge my phone. Oh, I, I don't have a charger. What, son? What's wrong with these hoes? 
Who raised these bitches? You do. That's part of you supposed nope, to. No, nope. no. I'm not supposed to. I'm oh, supposed to take face? you from point Who A to point B. I'm not supposed you to car. give you a charger. Okay? Okay, good for you. So get out of my car, I'm man. I'm not taking you, miss. I'm okay, not I'm taking you nowhere. Out. No get out of my car. Okay. Report TLC, report to anybody you want. I'm not taking you. I'm gonna my team. See the stupid bitches? This is why you don't take root fucking right. Fucking bitch. See what she did? Stupid Bronx bitch. Fucking disrespectful bitch. See people? You see females, right? I'm not I'm not saying all the females though. Some bitches like this. Fucking thought. This is uptown New York, man. Bro Bronx. There are stupid bitches out here, man. Sorry for my language. This is how Uber drivers go through every fucking day, man. People disrespect us, talk shit to us like it's nothing, man. See? Guess welcome to New York. Six for Viper, call up, man. I gotta apologize to you for these ratchet hoes, man. That sound like you, but put it like this. This guy is very patient. They even gave a moral story wrap up afterwards. He even said, oh, not all these, not, they're not all bitches. Niggas even like being politically correct at the end of the shit. I would say, fuck all these hoes, man. Fuck all these hoes. I ain't distinguishing right now. I'm hot. I'm hot. Bitch spilled like fucking Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or, or store-bought shit. In my back seat, the car looked kind of nice. It looked like it was, I don't know what it, what it, what it might be. I'm saying fuck all these. He's being very nice. He's been smiling. Look, he's smiling. He's smiling. After all that, he's smiling. I told you, the whole time, be like. I'd have been in the back seat, bro. Fuck, is he telling me, bitch? I'm powering up on her. I'm going to I'm powering up. I'm going to go, go. I'm going in. Yo. Yo, you ain't violating my car. Like, yo. I'm going in. Got to. I got to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got to power up, bro. This guy was nice. He got a smile on still. This man is better than me. This man is better than me. I don't even know how he did it. Now, with all that being said, when watching this for the first time, I kept asking myself, my guy, why aren't you calling the cops? Why aren't you calling the cops? Now, the first thing, because I would sometimes be thinking on the Chirac mentality a little bit, how niggas in the rack be handling it. I'm like, maybe he think the cops is the ops and he don't want to snitch on her. But I'm like, I don't think it's that. I actually thought about it and I said, maybe he he seems like a good guy, but maybe he's on some shit. You ever get in an accident? Well, some of y'all don't drive. Some of y'all motherfucking walking. But you ever get in an accident with somebody and they don't want you to call the police? Niggas don't got insurance. Okay? Niggas license suspended. Right? <laughs> nigga know like if the cops come He going to jail <laughs> Even though you hit his car No 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 Just give me a couple Hundred dollars hundred dollars yeah 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 You be like you don't call the cops No 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 My brother was was my brother or my cousin. So one of my family they were in an accident Tell one person like yo alright let's call the cops He was like no 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 It was like wait I'm in the wrong. I'm, let's call the cops. Like, you know what I mean? Because, like, my insurance is going to fix my shit. So, no, 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 no. So, that's a little bit suspect to me that he didn't call the cops. Maybe he's not a citizen. And with these days, these days and times, man, with Trump being the president, you don't want to have no interaction with the cops. You get one of them traffic cops that walk up and they're like, hey, yo. I don't love Jalera. We call an ice for you, nigga. We send you back to Nigeria. You're out of here. 
out of here, okay? You, they doing ice roundups all over this motherfucking place. If you don't got your paperwork right, nigga, you don't want to fuck with these niggas nowadays. You want to get the fuck low. You want to stay low. Stay low. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? Who knows? However, that's not even really the main thing that this video is about. The main thing is about this guy temperament. I thought he should be applauded. I don't feel like enough people are giving him credit. And I was reading through the comments, and of course, like some people are holding him down and shit like that. But like I'm looking like, yo, this shit should be going viral. I mean, it's on world stuff. I'm like, this shit should be going really viral, like real viral. And I'm looking, I'm like, damn, all these sites that be like pandering to the feminists, they not fucking with the shit. They're not showing what sometimes men have to go through. They don't give a fuck. They're not showing how great this guy handled with a belligerent chick. They don't give a fuck. But I thought this guy was great. Okay? I thought it was great. So, salute to him. Um, Uber drivers, they have a tough time. And I salute to anyone who drives for Uber or who just interacts with strangers in their personal property. Like, I, I don't bring... First of all, I got a car. I don't bring niggas. I don't even bring my friends in my vehicle. I don't know if y'all know. Not even my friends. I don't bring my vehicle. I've learned my lesson because niggas, like my niggas used to be so cheap, they would try to save with their gas money and just try to ride with you. And then when at a time I would ask them for gas money, niggas never have gas money till they get to the fucking club. They got all the money in the fucking world. Then I realized niggas don't really got no respect for your whip. Niggas treat you like a taxi. So I said, hmm. Huh. So I say, you know what? Since everybody want to be doing that type of shit, I'm going to meet y'all niggas at the club. I'm going to meet y'all. You know what I mean? Ain't no carpooling no more. Y'all niggas get there, I'll get there. We all got cars. You get there, I'll get there. Ain't nobody riding with me. Yo, yo, my, yo, my, yo, yo, my, yo, my engine fucked up. I got to get a new alternator. I got to ride with you and shit like that. Yeah, I can't. My shit be breaking down and shit like that. We got to ride with you. Let's get in the Mazda. They got the tents, yo. I fell for it a couple times. After a while, I said, nigga, I meet y'all niggas there. Because when it comes time to pick up bitches, them niggas be out whoop, in a second with their vehicle. I'm like, I thought that nigga said this car fucked up. This nigga drove to the next state to pick up the hoe. And we were going to the club like the next town over, and he couldn't drive there? Oh, I see what this is. So I, I, I developed a no nigga policy. Also, one time, unscrupulous nigga, niggas name, come up, would come in my vehicle. Stop playing with my fucking name. And, and I remember oh, one time we got pulled over. Stop playing with my name. And let me tell you this. No more. If you can't vouch for all your niggas to make sure they're all clean, you don't, need, you don't need them niggas in your car. Because you know what happened. One nigga got weed or got, some got a pistol or something. When the cops pull up, that nigga's dropping everything on the fucking floor. You know that's what's going to happen. Cops pull your eyes to search out. Okay. Are you good? You good? You good? You good? Okay, all four of y'all are good. Now the cops say, still going to have to search the car. Now you thinking of my car. Cool, but you might even be like, nah, fuck it. Bring the dogs. My, I know my shit good. Dog starts smelling weed. You start looking at nigga like, yeah, yeah, weed. Then they find all type of shit. All your niggas gonna lose your life. It's your car. So I don't, I don't bring niggas in my car. Nah, I ain't got time for that. Anyway, going to my Uber story. I took Uber recently <clears throat> um, for the first time. Went to the airport and back. And the Uber driver, which he was a Russian dude, he was very honest about like how he did things, right? First of all, he says he only does airports. So he doesn't, like, hang out in other towns. Like, he goes to the airport, turns his app on, picks people up, brings them home. Now, he says he does a specific type of way to gain the most amount of money. He says the, the, the money that he could gain in Uber is... Boom, what up, bro? My nigga, boom, what's good, my, my nigga? Uh, yo, boom, bro, listen... Yo, I, 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 I wish you lived up, like, like in New York or some shit, bruh. Like, I would definitely bring up the complex. Just just have you there, just, like, running, running around. Just like, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my nigga. Just, just run around, fuck with him, and just force one of them motherfuckers to put you on their page. <laughs> that's so easy. Anyway, uh, back to the, the conversation. 
So there was the guy was saying to me, which is very interesting. He says, I could see the name or the last name of the customer when they reserve me or they book me or whatever. He says, if I see a name like Jaquisha, I know they're going to the hood. The hood is kind of near the airport. I'm not going there because that's no money. And and basically he was saying he judges because because from the airport to certain places, they want long trips that they could get good money. If it's short trips, they barely get any money. So he says he looks at the names and he could tell by the name where certain people live. He said if your name is some like Jaquisha, Tyshawn, he knows you live in a fucking hood. And there's there's a big hood or close by hood that's near the airport. So he's going to not pick you up. Or what he'll do, he'll call you and be like, yo, whatever. Oh, you going there? Uh, Listen. And he'll say some shit and you cancel it. I'm like, hey, just cancel it, right? But he says if I see like names with Asian last names, I know they're going there because they live primarily there. I pick them up. Those are those are that's big money right there. Not in terms of and he's not really just saying black people broken, Asian people rich, and even though that might be a stereotype. What he's saying is that Yo, what he says is that it's all about location. He's trying to get the worthwhile trip, right? The trip that's gonna get him close to a hundred dollars per trip. And because the hood is so close by, he don't want to pick nobody up in the hood. Now, it may he may be kind of like masking that with him just really not fucking with niggas, which was ironic because he's telling us this. And, and like, I'm in the car and I'm like, yo, nigga, I'm black. Like, so I even asked him, I said, when you see my name, like, uh, what do you think? He's like, he was like, oh, I, he, he said, I thought you were white. <laughs> Something like that. I was like, I thought you were white. He's like, I know the white people live there. And, and and once I accepted it and I realized you were going there, I was like, good. So he, I guess he didn't know I was black till I hopped in the car. <clears throat> but what he, he had it really broken down. It was a science for him. He would pick up anybody with a Indian name because there was a town that's very populated by Indians. Um, with anyone with a name like Shah or or Patel. They're Indian. He knows they're all going to one place. And that's how he worked his system in turning shit down, doing the right shit, and always getting the most money. Which I looked at them and I said, he's doing that kind of by himself because he's kind of worked Uber for a while. But I'm like, ain't that a, that's kind of like a little, that's kind of like where like prejudice kind of creeps into it, right? You ain't trying to take no niggas nowhere really because you don't want to go to the hood. Right? You don't want to go to the hood. So you're not trying to take niggas to the hood. You judge it off the names. So say Jaquish is actually a fucking judge who lives in a rich-ass area. I don't know how they the drivers see it, but but the way he was explaining to me, he sees the name first, right? Before, whatever. He says, he ain't bringing no Jaquisha. Fuck out of here with a Jaquisha. No Jaquisha. <laughs> right? If he sees like a, a motherfucking... A bitch with a name like Hillary Clinton, of course you're gonna bring like like well, I mean white sounding name or or if it's something like uh like I don't know uh, Amish Patel or something like that. He's like, oh yeah, I'm doing that, which is funny. It was interesting for me to hear that because I was like, <clears throat> again, it's, it's only the that conversation happened on the second time I ever took an Uber. So I took it the first time to the airport, then second time back, and I was like, wow. I imagine who else does that? And like, is there a prejudice thing that happens with drivers and not trying to bring... Because if I'm an Uber driver, if I'm an Uber driver in Illinois, I don't want to bring you to Chicago. I don't want to bring you to Chirac. I'm sorry. Okay? Actually, if you're going to Chirac, I don't drive there. Right? So how do you distinguish that? Do you be like, okay, anybody... Anybody that got... Well, I don't know if they got screen names on Uber. Well, they don't really, but... <laughs> Anybody with a BDK name, name or some shit, or I don't know, like you just you gotta make some type of judgment, right? It, it's it's very interesting because I think that is a microcosm of probably a bigger thing that goes on. You have a business where people work for themselves, and it's up to you to make as much money as you can, 
And if you realize I could make more money by not going to these areas because these areas just by proximity, number one, pays less, also more dangerous, also these people might get up in my car with that fuck shit, right? I'm going to avoid those areas and by trying to avoid those areas, I'm avoiding those people. If I feel those people are black or ghetto, I'm going to avoid people with black ghetto names, right? <laughs> so watch, in five years when you niggas can't get a fucking, because your name is motherfucking Loquisha or some shit, or your name is like Tyshawn the Third, and you can't get a fucking Uber. Remember I said that. Anyway, all right, I digress. Just something I noticed. It was interesting. Just something I noticed that was very interesting <laughs> to me. Uh, my name is a, well, like my full name, like my real name. It's, it's a British name, actually. There's actually a famous British guy with that name. And of course, that's, uh, Jamaicans have all type of influence in British shit. So, like, I don't have no ghetto name. Actually, my name, I don't even think my name indicates I'm black. Which is good. You know what I mean? It helps. It probably got me some interviews. But if you name your motherfucking, if you name your, if you name your, your kid or some extra ghetto shit, you're, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked! What is y'all, what is y'all like first names? Or y'all don't have to say your name, like your first name, but like, like name a friend or something like that. Somebody said what? <laughs> your name is not ghetto. Like, all right, you don't have to give your name, but give just give a name. <clears throat> Demetrius. Demetrius is not ghetto, but I think it's black. It is definitely black. Joel. Uh, jo Joel is not a completely black name. I've seen like Jewish white dudes with that name. Your name is Sharia Germain. Uh, I don't think Jermaine, I think Jermaine, even if, I know a lot of black dudes with Jermaine, but it's not like a ghetto ghetto name, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Jermaine actually might be something in life, okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Uh, oh, yeah, if you have an African name, though, actually, w truth be told, people rather fuck with immigrants than actual just African Americans, because they be, you see how that chick was in the back? They be giving African Americans a bad rap that they're ghetto. Trust me. Your name is Carl? Okay, that's not bad. Marcus Farouk? Well, I don't think that's black. Nigga said <laughs> Osama Twin Llamas. <laughs> hey, hey, well, listen, when I first heard uh, Barack Obama's name, I was like, wait, this is a nigga? This sounds like definitely the, the the next bomber on the plane. Like, I know, I know. I, I didn't know. I wasn't following him when he was a senator. I'm sorry. But then I was like, oh, that's my guy. That's my guy. I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Your name is Mandingo. Bro, you watch too much porno, bro. Cut it out. Your name is OG Mudbone? Okay, yeah, all right, nigga. <laughs> Your name is who? Pado? Okay. Your name is Pookie. Yeah, Pookie, Pookie, you're not going to go far, bro. Listen, Pookie, either pick up a basketball or pick up a pistol. <clears throat> Johnny, Johnny's cool. Hamadi, are you a brown boy? Nigga said Brian Pumper, get the fuck out of here. Quentin, uh, Quint, is Quentin generally a black name? But it's definitely not ghetto. The, the black ones are, are the one with the Isha's and, and, and the shit where you're like fucking named after something. Mercer ladies or some shit like what the fuck? Dominique, nigga said DJ Palmer. Hilarious. Okay, all right, all right. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, uh, <clears throat> I forgot what rap topic I did want to bring up. I might just take calls. Y'all could bring up whatever y'all want. Should we take calls or did I have something to bring up? I thought I thought I did. Sorry if I went off topic with the Uber shit. I I, I just really I had like a lot of respect for that guy, yo. A lot of respect because 
A lot of times when you hear the rap about males, you hear chicks peddling rape culture and this and that, and you, it seems like niggas is just fucking predators. And it acts like there's not good dudes out there. Who And, and the thing is that the majority of dudes are good. <clears throat> I don't think the majority of y'all are rapists. I don't think the majority of y'all are abusers. Yeah, there is a, um, a minuscule population of y'all that probably own that bullshit, but I don't think a lot. All right, let me get...